Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing our longer readings for August, the month of August, for my Virgos. Hello, my Virgos. So this is the longer reading. I use three decks of cards. I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards, my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, and I use my Osha Zen Tarot cards. So the first, the, the Radley Valentine gives us that main, that main message. The second gives us kind of fill in the, you know, the gaps. And then the third answers any kind of uh, questions or gives us some advice. Now, all three decks I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Now, I am adding a snippet of what August is going to be about, some dates for you to remember to write down. Um, you know, it's only five and a half minutes long, and you know, you can go past it, and it starts now. So let's talk about August. Thank goodness we have August. July's energy was just all over the place. You know, eclipses, solar eclipses, lunar eclipses, Mercury retrograde, all these other planets retrograde. August will be almost like a vacation. It will be calmer. And the neat thing about this is that we are in Leo season now, the first beginning of, you know, of August till the 23rd when we turn, transition to Virgo season. And because of the way the planetary alignment is, because that this is one of the um, more powerful astrological years, um, you know, this, you know, this is going to be about clarity. This is going to be about honesty. This is going to be about fulfilling destiny. This is going to be about, you know, no shadows, no shadows, anything's possible. Honesty, okay? If you're going to lie, you know, let me give you fair warning. If you're going to lie about something, it's going to be revealed. Because remember all of that activity in July and what I talked about with the longer readings in July? This energy will go through December when the next eclipse is here. It is going to be about honesty and revealing um, what was hidden. So just, that's really, do not, you know, Try to stay on the straight and narrow, okay? No, even, not even little tiny fibs. Now, a couple of things. The new moon, I'm going to look at my notes. The new moon, July 31st through August 1st. Now, it's interesting because this brings the second new moon in July, but it also is the first new moon for August because the next new moon, now that new moon is in Leo, the next new moon will be in Virgo, and that's August 30th. So, we also have our planets, some, you know, some are still going to be retrograde, but Mercury goes direct July 31st through, you know, goes direct and transitions July 31st to August 1st. There's still going to be that um, two-week shadow period when all, you know, retrogrades it gives a little bit of time to stabilize that energy and to get them where they started from. So that will bring us up to that August 14th, 15th, when the full moon is here, and that will be in Aquarius. Aquarius is about dreaming and dreaming big. Now, with this Leo energy and Aquarius being the, you know, the mirror to Leo, and this Leo energy is going to be also about honesty. It's also going to be about being the person you're meant to be. It's going to be about, you know, no shadows, anything po if possible. It's going to be a very positive energy, but more so with that energy will be more from the 15th until the 23rd, okay? Once that shadow of Mercury is completely lifted. A couple of other planets, though, you want to be aware of is Jupiter goes direct August 11th. Jupiter is a very strong, powerful planet. It's also a playful planet, too. Then we have these planets are all retrograde all through August. That's Chiron, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto. All of them are retrograde. They're very shadowy um, planets. So they're revisiting the shadows. They're revisiting the secrets. They're going to be pulling things up. Now, we go to um, into Virgo, August 23rd. 
and Virgo then, you know, all the things that were happening in the beginning of August, the things that were being put into place, the, um, you know, the positive, um, the positive moves, all of that good energy is more, is, you know, becomes more, it becomes um, put into a more stable environment. So it's like, you know, there might be this change, especially, like I said, through the, you know, like that 15th through the 23rd, but it's like good, positive things. You're figuring out what you want to be, who you want to be, what do I want to be when I grow up? And then once that all, once that kind of gets put into place, you know, it's kind of like a puzzle. You're getting all those pieces put together and it's a very true and honest puzzle. Then Virgo comes and it solidifies, you know, it puts that, it puts like that plastic over the puzzle and it makes that puzzle a more stable piece, okay? And it's also, now this is something, and I'm going to post the article on my Facebook page, um, you know, but I really love this. This is about all, you know, again, I talked to you about it in um, July, but this is again about karma. This is about karma. This is about, you know, liars being revealed. You know, I want to say liar, liar, pants are on fire. You know, but this is about karma. So this month is going to be, I feel, a very positive month for our viewers because, you know, we, we try to be on the straight and narrow. But it's great. I feel it's going to be a much easier month to navigate through. Okay? Okay. So now, on to your reading. Bye-bye. So my Virgos, lots of energy happening, but let me be the first to wish you an early happy birthday. The 23rd starts your season, and if you know, you're going to be the stabilizer. You're going to be the one that um, makes things a little bit easier for people. So, you know, your energy is going to be awesome. Let's go ahead now and see what we have here. Okay, I have shuffled these, and we're going to cut. And see what we have for my Virgos. Okay, one, two, and three. So the third card is face. It well, all three are face down. The third card is reversed. Stronger message for you. Let's see what we have for my Virgos. Okay, the Knight of Water again. You know, water is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, emotional time. But the Knight is very directed. So there could be some emotions going on. But you can navigate the waters. You can navigate, um, you know, you can, you can see through the emotions, which I want you to be really careful that you don't, you know, see through them so much that you avoid experiencing some of the emotions, you know, that, that um, you know, just having a little bit, and I'm not going to say to be totally empathetic because I don't want you pulling that energy in but you can have a little bit of understanding, okay? So whoever needed that one, be aware um, that there's going to be some emotional, emotional turbulence around you, per se, from those relationships, you know, work, family, intimate, but you will be seeing through it and you will be going directly through it too. So this is emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, and contemplative. But this is also falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. So, you know, like I said, you're going you're gonna to be seeing, you're going to be going direct, you're going to be going through this. But it could be about new promotions, it could be about meeting that special person, it could be about just, um, you know, being busy. Maybe, maybe it's just being so busy that I feel that there could be some emotional stress put on you. But it could be emotional stress because of a lot of good things going around you, okay? Just take care of yourself, keep yourself grounded, get lots of sleep, drink lots of water. Now, let's go to the next card, the five of air. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarian energy. We've got the Aquarian full moon, the 15th, but the fives are about changes, changes in thoughts, changes in your Wi-Fi, changes in how you're perceiving things, okay? So there could be something, you know, maybe, maybe you were at your, your fault, you maybe you're saying, I'm never going to be in a relationship. I don't want to be in a relationship or I'm never getting that job, you know, or, 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 right? I'm never, never, ever. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, maybe that's going to be something I need to do, you know? So it's kind of that change in that thought plan too. Or it could be just the opposite. 
So this is an unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. That reviewing everyone's motives really jumps out to me more. So and with this one, again, I feel like you're going to be going through that emotional, this emotional, um, emotional waters. Okay, let's put it that way. And, you know, it, it's like, you know, they're just, and it's trying to beat you down a little bit, but you are very focused and you're going forward with this. So you're not, you're not pulling, you know, you're not necessarily, um, you know, pulling that emotion into you. Okay. So next card, this is the one that's reversed. The moon. Okay. Archangel Heniel. Now, you know, before in, what was it, 2018, you were going through a lot of spiritual changes, a lot of growth, a lot of um, coming to really recognize who you are spiritually or intuitively. And this is going to, again, be that piece. This is, again, saying for you to trust your instincts, for you to, you know, again, when, you know, when you're, when, when you're, when this is going on, and when your mind is kind of telling you, okay, this is kind of, you know, this is kind of uncomfortable. You know, there's changes going on. My thoughts are changing. This is telling you to, you know, to trust your instincts. Remember, we have our mind, our heart, our instinct, spirit, you know, intuition. And this is more the case of, yes, you know, you have your mind here, you know, you have your mind, you, you know, you can think things out quite logically, you have your heart, you can feel things, but this is telling you to rely also on your instincts, also on your intuition, your psychic ability, because you will be actually putting together, you will be, you will be seeing things to a point that it's like, I don't have all the facts, I don't have all the, um, you know, the, um, I don't have all I need, but I really feel like with your intuition, your psychic, you can put those pieces together. So I'm going to tell you to trust your instincts. This is going, especially the closer we get past the full moon and into your sign. Trust your instincts. So this is an important, uh, the moon, Archangel Heniel, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So that's the other thing too for you, my Virgos, is releasing those fears. So, you know, what, like I said, there's going to be this emotional encounter, this emotional, these people, the, whoever this is, the emotions are just like, oh, please. And you're going to cut right through it. You're going to rethink things. But again, you know, you need to have, maybe you need to also have confidence in your intuition, in your psychic abilities. You need to have confidence in yourself because you really do have the, um, you do have the I, you know, is it the answers? You do have the right idea. Okay. Okay. So let's go on now to my John Holland, psychic tarot and oracle cards to, you know, to fill in a little bit about this. What else do we want to tell our Virgos here? Because there's going to be, you know, even though, you know, I just talked about how this is going, you know, they're going to be bringing some stability, but there's going to be some, I don't know, is it instability really? Is it unstable, unstable when, you know, when people are emotional around you, you know, remember, especially, especially the, the ones, you know, the Scorpios, the, um, the Capricorns, um, I'm not, I don't necessarily know, let's see, yeah, Capricorns and Scorpios are coming around me, so if you have Scorp Capricorns and Scorpios in your life, they may be the ones that are kind of getting a little up and down where you're kind of like, oh, please. Okay, so just just be aware of them. Now, let's go ahead. I cut the deck. Three cards down. Get these out of my way. First card. Light, light. So here we are. You know, this is basically... Um, you know, it, it's kind of like, you know, a couple of things. It's like light bulb, you know, something turns on. It's also connecting with that higher power, that guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the divine, voice of the universe, divine, whoever that is. It's also about reaching. It's also about figuring out who you are, what is your, you know, what is your purpose. This month of August is about finding purpose, okay? And it's not necessarily... You know, well, but I have a purpose. Yes, it's finding your true purpose, which could be exactly what you're doing, okay? But it's like that comes to light. 
You know, some people we get into a we get into a habit, we get into rote, you know, where it's just like, okay, we just do this because we have to do this. And then sometimes it's more, do we really have to do this? Or maybe this is really what I want to do, okay? But it's like things are revealed. So here we have the moon saying things are hidden. And this is the time, and again, I feel this is more from that 23rd to that 31st, that things become revealed. And this is also, remember, all of that, secrets are revealed here. And it's not going to be your secrets per se. Well, I don't think you really have, I think you're fairly open, um, but it's going to be secrets around you. And that might be why that emotional, emotional thing is. So be aware that there could be something that... Um, there could be something, and again, that emotional, that emotional stream, that emotional wave, that emotional that's all around you, that it could actually be very revealing to you. And that could be why, you know, you have a what you have a change of how you're looking or how you're thinking about something. So there could be this relationship, and I'm not talking personal, so please, I'm just using this as an example. But you could feel like you are in a very stable relationship and it could be your job, personal, family, whoever. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, now we're bankrupt. Huh? Okay. It's like, it's like, what? What? And then you have to rethink. You, it, I, I'm only using that as an example. But the thing is, you are the one that pulls it together. You are the one that says, no, 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 regardless of what this is, I'm going forward. And, and actually, this is that, I, I feel almost a, um, I don't know if I want to say militant. Um, I don't know if I want to say, um, like, you know, again, that, that night of water, you going straight through it. You just saying, you know, heck with it all. <laughs> heck with it all. You know what? I'm living my life, and I'm living my life, and I'm living large. Okay? Okay. So next one is mental conflict. Now that's interesting that that would be on your five of air. So the mental conflict, of course, is exactly what that's talking about. It's kind of like, you know, my my paradigm, my what I thought was happening isn't, you know, I mean, again, it's, you know, I thought that this was stable and it's not stable, okay? Some, you know, it's not so much, it, 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 it's what we were talking about how things come to light. Things come to light, okay? So it's not so much that it's not stable because you are stable. You are stable. It's, it's what comes to light and you're like, wow, 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 that, that, wow, okay? Let's see. So this is going to be kind of a, I mean, this, it's, it's secrets. I think that See, the secrets around you are going to be more revealed, are going to be revealed to you, and you're going to just be kind of like, okay, last card. Okay, reversed. Emotional withdrawal. So you're going to have to kind of, you know, move yourself out of that. Again, that goes along with what I was saying about the night of water. You know, again, you're like, you know, I'm not, I'm not taking on your pain. I'm not... I'm, and again, I'm not saying that you're not going to be nice or you're not going to be sympathetic. It's just you're not going to take on their um, problems. Um, and it's not, you know, it's, it's not that you are being harsh either. And it, it's just that you're, you know, you, you're like, no, I, I, I've got enough. I've got, you know, it's, you're, and I, I, help, I, I can't quite um, convey this. So let's. So emotional withdrawal, this is you stepping out. This is you taking care of yourself. This is you, um, you know, doing, again, your meditation, your connection, however you do that. This is you regrouping and regaining your, your I, you know, when I say regaining, it doesn't mean that you lost it, though. This is you um, maybe putting up your boundaries, maybe putting up your... Um, you know, you're, well, putting up your boundaries. Let's put it that way. This is you erecting some fences and deciding, you know, because of what you, you know, the, this mental, you know, this mental conflict, this five of air, you know, this, you know, this, this mental saying, no, this is what I don't need in my life right now. It's not that I can't, I, it's not that I won't help you. It's more I can't help you. So 
Okay, just just be aware of that energy around you. The thing is, you it's like you have to take care of yourself so that you know so that and you have to you know withdraw a little bit to take care of yourself so you can then go back and take care of others. So this is going to be a month. I want you to say this is going to be a month of your self care. Okay, any any final words of advice? What else can we tell our Virgos with this? You know, this is really, these are times that, um, you know, I'd love to be able to say, you know, I'd love to be able to say, oh yes, we win the lottery, we have all these, but these are those parts of those waves. And the energy, you know, I really feel this is about your clarity, you seeing things how re, how, with reality, um, you know, and and you just kind of, you kind of dealing with it. You kind of getting back and saying, okay, how do I want to balance this out? How do I really want to go forward? This is, I think, going to be a really pivotal um, month for you in looking at, you know, it's kind of, again, what I was saying, what am I going to do with my life? So let's go ahead. One card jumped out. Two cards we pull. Put those over there. Let's see. The card that jumped out, understanding, understanding. Now, with this card, this is where... This, you know, this is a bird, and it, you know, the bird is, you know, it's kind of perched, perched in what looks like a possible cage, and this is like the bird, and I think this is, this kind of sums up this reading for you. This is this bird thinking, you know, I can't move forward, I can't go forward, and then the bird has come to a point where it looks and says, hey, wait a minute. There's this opening. I can go out and join the other birds. I can go forward. I can I can I can be freer. I can be free. So, you know, is this talking about possibly, you know, an end well, this could be an you know, again, with everything else, this could be an ending of a relationship too. This could be you leaving your job. This could be, you know, leaving a partner, leaving you know, somebody maybe you're going maybe you're going to um you know, you you are going to school. Maybe you're leaving your home. Your you know your your parents, and you're going out, and it's like it's a little bit scary for you. You know, it's maybe you're getting a new home. You know, I mean, it, this this is all about venturing outside of what's comfortable for you and going maybe into a place that's not as comfortable for you. But with this, you know, you can see that there's the clouds out there, there's the sun shining through the clouds, there's the other birds, you're not so, you know, you don't have to be isolated, you can join, okay? So let's go on with this next card, and this next card is, okay, yeah, here we go, and this was reversed, and here is the fool, here is the fool starting that new journey, here is that fool starting over, that fool that says, you know, anything is possible, that leap of faith, I am just going to go forward, and this is, you know, look at that, I mean, look at, you know, look at what he's doing, I mean, there's, and there's that, um, would that be the fool, I don't know, there's one of the, the new moons, or the, um, the waning, or the waxing, I think that's one, but, you know, but, he he has this he has total trust he he says i'm going to go forward because you know this is what i'm going to do i'm just going to do it you know others might look at him and think that he's fallen off of the cliff but he does you know he knows that he's where he's at he knows and he's going i'm taking that jump because maybe there's something down here that we don't know okay there's that trust there's that i'm going to just trust in this universe i'm going to just trust a leap of faith here and your last card is, okay, playfulness, okay? This is to tell you, when, when all of these things start to come down on you, and I shouldn't say come down, but when they start to feel heavier than what they are, or when they feel like they're, you know, pull up that joy that you have. Pull up that laughter that you have. Find the humor in a situation because a lot of times that's all that it takes to get us through some harder times. And I'm not even saying that these are harder times. I feel like these are times that you're very prepared for and you've been waiting for this and you've been ready for this and you're just going to go forward with it. You're going to be basically, you know, you understand more than what, you understand your situation and you know you're going to go forward. You know that, you know, that light is waiting for you. The light is waiting for you. You know you want that leap of faith. 
And so the thing is, enjoy it. Enjoy this next transition because this does look like a big transition for you, my Virgos. Yay! So, my Virgos, as always, know that you are loved. You are. And be blessed. Bye-bye.